All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it because this one had me shook. This one had me angry. This one makes you question the justice system. So Ernesto Miranda, born March 9th, 1941, ended up dying in prison January 31st, 1976. His charges, kidnapping, rape, and armed robbery. He had multiple victims, but the main victim, if you look up his name, is Patricia Weir, known as Trish. He ended up raping her in 1963. He kidnapped her after she got off the bus. She had just left from work. She was young. She got off the bus from sitting with a friend that she ended up liking and trying to get with later on. It ended up not working. Anyway, so he grabbed her, put her in the back of his car, and drove to an abandoned place and attempted to rape her she was a virgin so he struggled and he just he did end up raping her but he struggled and it was just a process and he drug it out a little bit longer so when he dropped her off back at home such a nice guy anyway well i mean i guess he could have killed her so anyway he drops her off back home and when he drops her off he says pray for me Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll pray for you. Anyway, so after he did that, she went home. She talked to her sister, her mom, everyone. They took her to the police station, did a rape kid and everything. No one believes her. No one. Except for her sister and her brother. Her mother did not believe her. And then when her mother finally did believe her, told her not to say anything. To drop the whole thing because women get raped all the time. It's not going to make a difference and men don't believe you and blah, blah, blah. Her mother. Great mom alert. You know, just awesome. Great person. Anyway, so go back. Ernesto was already earlier in life dishonorably discharged for spying on people engaging in sexual activities. He already had like a little... You know, a cuckoo thing going on. So, we all should have seen this coming. Well, his people should have seen it coming. Because I don't know this man. You know, I don't know him. Anyway. So, he raised Patricia Weir. I'm going to just say Trish. And no one believed her. So, she decided to... She ended up deciding to speak up because of her sister. Her sister pushed her to speak up. And was like, you know, you got to think about other women. If he did it to you, he'll do it to someone else. And you have to speak up. So, she ends up speaking up, and she goes through her statement and everything. Well, because Ernesto is such a great guy, you know, he decides to come back to the scene and scope out the area. So, when he does, on March 13th, 1963, her brother spots the car and gets a partial license plate. Officer Cooley and y'all brought him in voluntarily and was like, hey, you know, I just want to speak to you. I think you might have seen a crime and, you know, just want to bring you in. So he's like, yeah, I'll come in. Like, you know, anything I can do to help my community. Like, I might have seen something. I'm going to help you guys. Like, let me get my glasses and put my shirt on and I'm going to hop in the car. So dude hops in the car. Anyway, so <laughs> they bring him in, they question him for a little while. Well, then, because, you know, they're like, well, we have the victim. Actually, do you mind being part of a lineup? And he's like, no, no, I don't have a problem being part of the lineup. I want to help you guys find the person you're looking for. So he's part of the lineup and he's identified by Trish, obviously. And... He goes into the interrogation room. They interrogate this man for two hours. Two hours. And he confesses. This man is like boo-hoo crying. Like, yes, I did it. I felt bad. You could ask her. I told her to pray for me. Something's wrong with me. I need help. Blah, 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 blah. All this other stuff. So the cop's like, you mind writing a confession? And he's like, no, I'll write a confession. Writes everything out. How he did it. Where he did it why he did it, everything else, signs it. The dude put his John Hancock on it, okay? So he's like, you know, I'm good to go. I shouldn't have did it. I felt bad for doing it. I didn't want to do it in the first place. <laughs> cool. So tell me why he goes to court. Well, once he gets a lawyer, his lawyer is like, no, not going to happen. So 
the Supreme Court ends up throwing out the conviction. So the state had to try again with a second trial because his lawyer's like, well, they didn't tell him that they broke his rights against self-incrimination and to have an attorney present. And he just put himself in a bad situation. He didn't know what he was doing. So then Ernesto is like, you're right. I didn't know what I was doing. They didn't tell me I had a right to say I didn't do it. I thought I had to say I did it. Anyway, so the Supreme Court throws it out. They're like, you're right. Y'all didn't give him his rights. So what he said doesn't matter. He didn't do it. Take it out. We're not using that. So the state's like, no, he's going to jail. So the state tried again. Second trial, the confession was thrown out. He still goes to jail because he did have the armed robbery. They ended up finding um like some rope in his car. And I think, like, during the rape kit, they had found some DNA. I'm not sure if it was semen or, like, what it was, but they did find a trace of him on her. So, they ended up still convicting him, but they didn't do it on the rape charge. They had to throw out the confession. So, I ended up getting him for the armed robbery and the kidnapping. Because, you know, that, like, in the end, I think he said, like, she was in his car or something like that. That he ended up not doing it. That his DNA could have been anywhere. That it could have been on the bus that she was on. And all this other stuff. So, they ended up throwing out the right. They just threw it out. Because at this point, whatever. But that's Ernesto Miranda. And that's why we now have it. The fact that they gave him that reward by naming it the Miranda Rights. It's a big, a big thing, honestly, because why is he being rewarded? But whatever. The point of the story is that's why we have the Miranda rights. Keep that in mind.